Starting out with foundation, I am using CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation, dotting that all over my face and then blending that out with a damp beauty blender. To prime my eyes, I am using Micabella's Eye Primer, and with a concealer brush, I'm first placing that on my eye and then blending it out with my finger. Taking Chocolate Milk, which is just a light matte brown, on a big fluffy brush, I am blending this into my crease. I'm pr being pretty sloppy with this. This is just going to be a color for when we go in with darker colors. It makes it easier to blend out. And I'm making it just as thick on the inner corner of my eye as the outer corner. Taking a clean blending brush, I'm just making sure that there's no harsh lines. With a darker matte brown, this one is called Woolen Mittens from Too Faced, I'm placing that into my crease. I'm not going to be as sloppy as this one as I was with chocolate milk. We're going to keep it slightly lower than the chocolate milk and not as thick in the inner corner. Taking that clean fluffy brush, I am just blending out that color. Taking this cranberry purple color from a sleek palette, I will list down below what palette it is. I am packing this onto my eyelid. I'm starting a little bit closer to my lash line and then with back and forth motions, bringing that up into my crease and rounding it out. Taking a darker matte brown than we used before, I am putting this first into the outer part of my eye, doing little circular motions so it gets the most pigmentation there, and then slowly bringing that into the inner corner. This is gonna make our eyes lift up and depth on the outer part. Taking chocolate milk on a real haired brush, I'm taking that right above that dark brown we just placed to make sure everything is seamless. The real hair brush absorbs more of the powder so it dispenses less product onto your eye. So it's perfect for just giving you a light wash of color. Then taking the clean fluffy brush and blending everything out. Taking Anastasia's Covet Waterproof Eyeliner in Noir, which is just a black eyeliner, I'm pushing this into the top part of my lash line. You don't need to be neat with this because we're going to go back with the pencil brush and blend everything out. I applied some false lashes from Velour. I'll list the name down below in the description box. Let me know if you wanna see an in-depth eyelash video and also an eyebrow video. Taking Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer, I'm placing that under my eye, warming it up and pushing it into my skin with my finger, and then taking my Damp Beauty Blender and blending that out. To set everything, I am using Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and a big powder brush from Real Techniques and I'm placing that on my chin, under my eye, and my forehead. I have dry skin so I don't need to set the rest of my face because it won't budge. Taking that same eyeliner, I am placing that on my lower lash line halfway and then taking that same pencil brush, blending that out. I'm also going to place this on my waterline.
Going back to that cranberry purple color, I am buffing this under my lash line. Taking Physician's Formula Translucent Pearls on a big fluffy brush, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and inner corner with this. To contour my face, I am using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and placing that in the hollows of my cheeks. And I am bringing this a little bit down further towards the corner of my mouth to give a more structured look. Taking my powder brush, I am blending that out, bringing the product up rather than down. For my blush palette, I am using this blush here. It looks a little bit more orange than pink on camera, but it does have more pink in it than the camera is showing. For highlighter, I am using Tarte's highlighter in Girls Night Out palette and placing this on the high points of my cheeks. Using Rimmel Nude Eclipse on my lips and then putting mascara on my lower lash line. I am using Maybelline's Rocket Volume Mascara. To set everything, I am using a finishing spray from NYX in the Dewy Finish, making sure our makeup doesn't move throughout the night. Here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed my makeup tutorial. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and please subscribe for future videos. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.